when God created Adam and Eve, he gave them three roles in paradise. To be priests, and to be kings, and to be prophets. The priests are the ones who lead us in worship, right? So they're the job of humanity when God created humanity was to lead all of creation in worship. The job of, of Joy and David is to lead their home in worship and all those whom they come into contact with to bring it back into the worship of God, away from selfishness, back to the worship of God. What's a prophet? Some people think a prophet is someone who tells the future. The word prophecy really means to speak a word of truth. Whether that word of truth you're speaking is in the past or the present or the future is not really relevant. It's that they're speaking the truth. So David and Joy will become now people that speak the truth and only the truth. And they now have someone to hold them accountable to that, which is each other in their home and to everyone with whom they come in contact with. They will speak the truth and bring the truth wherever they go. So the church is telling them, have foresight for your home, for each other, and for everyone with whom you meet. Think ahead, plan for them, prepare good things for them, be thoughtful and caring about what is coming for them, and have a sense of responsibility for them, for each other, for their home, for their children, and for all to whom they come in contact. and David. I watched you, I watched your friendship grow deeper and stronger over the years. You were there together at almost every retreat, every mission trip, every praise night, every service outreach. You served together side by side, sharing God's love with others. And in doing so, God molded you into the wonderful people you are today. Your friendship began based on a solid foundation of sharing your faith in God and in Christian fellowship. And I can't imagine a better way to start your happily ever after together. David is very special in a, in a, in a way. Uh, he's, uh, he's truly is a special. I have watched him grow. I watched him, you know, through medical school. He came and I saw him operate. I saw him taking care of patients. And one thing consistently you would hear about uh, people commenting to me about David is that how uh, caring person he is and he truly is. And uh, uh, he is smart too, but I think Joy is much smarter than him. And the reason is because she married him, right? But God gave him the best gift ever. And that best gift ever that he could not have dreamed of is obviously Joy. But they would also follow you know, was what God's promise. And in Proverbs, I think it says, uh, you know, who can find a virtuous woman her worth as far more than rubies? And that's what David did. He found that fortune that's priceless 
and that's Joy. And uh, thank you, Joy, for agreeing to marry David. Thank you very much. It's been a pleasure. Thank you. We love you. Joy, my joy. You've always brightened up the room with your smile and positive attitude. But today you're absolutely glowing. It's so hard to believe that this day finally came and you're married. Somehow over the, along the way, you grew up and became a woman ready to take on the responsibilities of being a wife. With your sensitive venture and your eagerness to serve the Lord and help others, married life with you will never be boring. And David is a blessed man to have found the precious gem in you. David, I can hardly believe I'm speaking at your wedding. I feel like it was just yesterday that you moved here from Kentucky and joined our church family. I always joked with you that you would become a priest. But today that actually became a reality because now you and Joy have started a new church and a new family. Marriage and love, it's infinity. You're just in the first step. Today is your first step. Every day you're gonna get closer to each other and knowing each other till infinity. There is no end to it. So I don't want you to rest and feel like, okay, I get David, okay, I get Joy. I'm done. No, this is the beginning. I love you both. You're gonna be doing great things. And I'm the happiest person today. Love you. Not only do I thank God for David, but also for the entire Hannah family. Starting with Maria and Nader and Dr. Nabil, Andrew, and beautiful Irini, who love them dearly, as David and Joy have enjoyed the relationship during the engagement period. The parents and the siblings have enjoyed getting closer and spending together time. We eat together, we plan things together, and we also had an opportunity to travel to Egypt on a nice trip. And during that trip, we visited the, our, each other's families and got to, to know each other. Beautiful family all over. Everyone was, was so wonderful. And we are so grateful to be together, to come together, to be a one family.